The 2023 season for your Cornwall Wildcats has begun. Their home opener is this coming weekend. And joining me now is President and Offensive Coordinator Kirby Camplin to talk about the upcoming season or the season that's now underway. Welcome to the show, Kirby. Thanks very much. Thanks for having me. Oh, great to have you here. And uh, I always like to start at the very beginning. Uh, just remind our viewers a little bit about the Wildcats and their history in Cornwall. It's really uh, a great program and it's really built uh, and entrenched itself in, uh, in Cornwall sports scene. Yeah, football has been on the up and up for uh, for a few years now, and this level of football we're talking about is U18, so these are 16, 17, 18, 19 year olds that are uh, playing the top level of football in, in, uh, in Ontario. So we started down this path in 2010, and uh, we've been playing ever since, and the program has grown and grown, and uh, yeah, let's, we look forward to the 2023 season. All right, so let's talk about uh, the season, a little bit about this year's team. Uh, and it all starts, uh, of course, with yourself as president. But talk to me about the coaching staff, first of all, including second year head coach Alex Labonte. Yeah, you know what? Uh, Alex Labonte took over a couple of years ago and has done an outstanding job. He's attracted a lot of uh, coaching talent. You know, we've got two former CFL players uh, on our roster uh, that are coaches, uh, Dan West and Zach Annan. And we have probably another three, four, five coaches that have coached uh, university football, so like the talent level is uh, on the coaching staff is unreal. Uh, I'm sure a lot of teams would have uh, trouble matching what we have for for firepower on the coaching staff. So it really makes a big difference in preparation and certainly on game day making adjustments and stuff. Uh, yeah, the coaching staff's outstanding. Oh, fantastic. And uh, let's talk about uh, this year's uh, roster. Uh, certainly, uh, we're in a unique area. We know that some of the bigger centers have more to draw from, uh, but you guys always seem to find those diamonds in the rough and, and great talent. Yeah, I think important in a smaller community to always get the best athletes and the best football players that are available. So I think, you know, we do a really good job of recruiting in, in uh, Cornwall and SD&G. Um, the difference the last couple of years has been uh, the elimination of territories uh, in football. So people can go wherever. So we actually have uh, probably 10 to 15 players that come from uh, outside our community. So we have kids from Ottawa, we have kids from Brockville. Um, uh, that are coming here and wanting to play football, which is, if you coach a sport in our community, it's unusual for athletes from outside our community to come here. Uh, football is no different, so, you know, uh, many of our starters and, and top players are from, from outside our community. Absolutely, and I think that's a testament to uh, the program that you've built. Uh, and certainly, uh, uh, the last couple of seasons have been some of the most successful, I believe. Uh, so talk to me a little bit about your hopes for this coming season. Yeah, last year, uh, we play an eight-game season. So last year, we were four and four. We play in AAA, which is the highest level of football uh, in Ontario. We are by far the smallest community that offers football at that level. So it's always a, a big task to take on the big teams and the bigger centers. But last year we were four and four. We got hot in the playoffs uh, and advanced uh, into the uh, tier two uh, provincial championships. So we lost uh, at Western Stadium, uh, what Univers University of Western Stadium uh, against the Hamilton Junior Tiger Cats uh, in, a, in a tough game. But uh, yeah, for, for a community like us to be able to go and compete on the, on the provincial stage, and now that kind of success is outstanding. So, you know, you know, fast forwarding to this year, uh, we have probably 80 to 85% of our roster back. Uh, so they're all year older, year bigger, year stronger. And uh, so, you know, we think we're, we're gonna make a big push in the playoffs again this season. Oh, fantastic. And obviously you're in your role, you're focused on, on the offense, uh, but talk to me about uh, the style of this roster. You know, obviously you have defensive minded teams, you have more offensive minded teams, you have some with good balance. Hopefully, you know, you, you do have that balance, but talk to me about the, the makeup of the team and uh, your style. Yeah, I mean, we, we have one of the best uh, young, best quarterbacks uh, in the province, I think. Uh, Xavier Orr is a second year player for us. He's been in our system since he was seven years old. So. He's a big, strong quarterback that's going off to St. Francis. Sorry, not going there. He's going to Mount Allison University uh, in the fall um, as a quarterback. So, you know, the offense runs through him, and he's very, very good. Uh, we've got, you know, two or three running backs that are outstanding. Some receivers that, uh, you know, our receiving core probably averages 6'2", 6'3". So they're a big bunch of dudes. And the defense, we've got uh, several guys on there that are going off to university and, um and the defense is run by uh, Phil Roberts, who has you know 25, 30 years of coaching experience in university. So, pretty oh. pretty well-rounded team. 
Fantastic. And uh, so the home opener is this coming Saturday. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, we talked about how football has grown, but that not, doesn't only include the program and the players, but it includes the fan support as well. Uh, and the city has really embraced the Wildcats and they come out and support you guys every Saturday that you play. Yeah, no, we do get a lot of people that come to games now. It's uh, pretty cool to see uh, so much support on Saturday, you know, from young players in our system to people that are, you know, just uh, wanting to see some good football because it is really good football. So this is really high level. We've got at least uh, eight kids that are going to go off to university football in the fall. So it's a, it's a pretty high number, and there's a so the football is really good. So. All right, so uh, obviously uh, there's four home games uh, throughout the summer. Uh, viewers can now see uh, the, the list of games uh, and the dates on the screen, uh, but just remind them how they can uh, take part and how they can attend uh, at the field. Yeah, so we play this this Saturday, 1 o'clock, against the Ottawa Myers Riders. Uh, always, a, you know, it'll be a great game. Both teams are pretty talented. Uh, so we play at 1 o'clock, and then we're actually at home for the next uh, few weeks. Uh, June 3rd and June 10th uh, are also home games. Those are at 4 o'clock, but uh, certainly... You know, we'll, we're always uh, on social media and uh, on our website. We'll let people know uh, the upcoming events. Fantastic. Well, best of luck uh, with the season, Kirby. And uh, we know uh, it'll be another successful one. And uh, we look forward to uh, another great summer of football in Cornwall. Yeah, that's great. Thanks very much.